Buongiorno, principessa! One of my favorite lines in cinema. 42. Uh, that talks about this prime, Acapulco at its prime in the 80s. Uh, in its golden it, days. There, there was a lot of uh, um, stories about Acapulco in the 80s. All the, the, the royalty around the world went to, to Acapulco, the, the, the Hollywood celebrities, these wild parties that took place in Acapulco. And, um, and so we're, we're telling all these, all these stories in, in, in the series. So don't miss it, October 8th on Apple TV+. Plus. Eugenio, you are the main character, but also the executive producer. What goal you gave yourself? Exactly. My, one of my goals was uh, to portray Mexico in a different way. Uh, because I was tired. I'm tired of uh, watching the news and just uh, looking how they, they, they talk about Mexico. And, and the entire world, they think that Mexico is really dangerous and it's full of violence and drug lords and narcos so and i know it exists in a certain point but it's more than that i mean we can walk on the streets we can go on vacation we have amazing spots like acapulco enrique your character learns a lot during the the series he learns things about life about work about love and as an actor uh what have you learned from the work in the series what I can relate with Maximo is that we both were very hard worker. For me, it was, it was a, a big, a huge opportunity. So I'm, I'm more than, than glad. Um, I think I'm a huge dreamer, Dr dreamer, dreamer, sorry. <laughs> um, I think I got a little bit of my family members. I have a lot of strong women in my family. Um, I was inspired by them. I was inspired by my best friend, who's also a very strong, independent, <laughs> intelligent woman. So I got a, a glimpse, I, I got a little bit of um, each important woman in my life. I think, uh, especially with Enrique Arrison, uh, who plays Maximo, we would kind of rehearse our scenes in advance, but truly we would try to be very um, authentic and in the moment. So we wouldn't over rehearse to make sure to have this really good chemistry going on. Um, but honestly, we had so much fun shooting the show that it was really easy to just to play. Yeah, to play around and to have fun and to experiment with with new things on set because we were all on board to try new things too. Oh, I have a whole list. I mean, when when we started shooting this, I I have a a playlist, a personal playlist that I titled Diane's World. <laughs> it's about I don't know a hundred <laughs> songs from 1984. Um, gosh, I think for me. Uh, anything from the Go-Go's would be a favorite. That that just to me is the 80s and um, yeah, we got the beat. One of the things that uh, this show does really well is um, shows the importance of family. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think that that's, I think over the last like, couple of years, I think uh, that's probably been highlighted for everybody because everybody um, has, has been able to pay more attention to their family and spend more time and uh, connect. And it's been everybody's kind of base. So I think that that's a, a cool thing the show really um, touches on. Vamos a la playa. Oh. Is an Italian, vamos a la playa, oh, oh, oh. is an Italian song. Oh, I, um, I didn't know that. <laughs> that's so look, cool. We learned yeah, something today. Vamos a la playa, oh, oh. Yeah, wow, look at. The group is called Rigueira. Oh, boys. Love your accent, oh, yeah. Rigueira. 